Hello, and welcome to a figure review of the SH Monster Arts Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong 2021. So, this is my first SH Monster Arts. I do have a few SH figure arts, so I'm, I'm kind of familiar with the line, but when I saw this guy go up for pre-order, I was like, I've got to have it, because whilst I'm a big Godzilla fan, I don't actually own Godzilla in any meaningful figure way, and... Uh, I don't know, there's just something about the Monsterverse Godzilla that really like speaks to me, that I really dig. So, we're going to crack this open. Now, I've been sat on this for a while. I think this has been out about a year or something, actually. Um, but I just never had room for him until now, so I thought, well, you know, make, make uh, the most of it and crack it open when I get the chance. So, obviously, this is SH Monster Arts. Uh, this is from Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm going to take a quick look at the box. And then we're going to crack it open. So we've got a lot of Japanese text down there. We've got a few shots of him, which is kind of interesting. It's at the front of the box. Usually it does, it's at the back. We get a peek of the dude himself. Ah, oh, look at those reflective scales. I'm already pretty hype. Uh, so if we turn it around, we have, of course, the description of the figure. And Monsterverse, of course, which is the... Um, the, the Monsterverse, the Cinematic Universe, Kong's in it, Godzilla's in it, um, that, that's it, I think, for now anyway. Uh, and i got to say, this this side is just like, the, the whole poster thing of Godzilla shooting his beam up to the sky, I think from Godzilla King of the Monsters, right? Uh, also, i just got to say, I, I know it's a bit weird, but I, I love this box, just look at the colours, there's like blue, there's orange, it's all over the place and it's very vivid. We've got uh, another peak from above on him, another description, and we've got that, that, oh man, that's, it's just such a cool box, uh, honestly. Now, I was considering getting Kong. If I see him for a decent price, I may still do it, but you know, um, and here are all the stickers, just to prove it is legit, it's, it's the real thing. Are they even making knockoffs of this? I don't know, probably. Um, but yeah, and that's the back. So, I'm going to uh, go slice this open now and pull him out, and then we'll take a look at the figure himself. So, BRB. Okay, Godzilla has been let loose. Uh, so, I've, I've intentionally dropped the camera. Um, I'm going to heighten it back when we take a look at him in a second. But first, just to say, there are two additional pieces that come with him. Uh, there's a lot of SH figure arts too, and that is... Uh, special hands, the kind of kind of open but a little bit closed, the kind of you know that kind of standard one. So there are these here. Obviously, they're pretty easy to pop out. I imagine I'll try taking a photo with those hands in as well. So I'm going to go hide in the camera now. I, I know it's a cool effect and stuff, but Bobby. Hey, there we go. Okay, so he doesn't look quite as intimidating now, but we get to have a look at Godzilla himself. So, um, let's start from the feet, shall we? Uh, so, he's a very dark figure, obviously, uh, as you'd imagine. I'll go through the articulation as well, but we've got his uh, feet and his legs here, so he's got massive claws. Uh, I do like as well how like imperfect they are, if that makes sense. They, uh, they still look really cool, but, you know, they, they do look as if they've, you know, wildly grown. So his feet can, you know, they've got a decent range of motion. I mean, it's Godzilla. It's not going to be incredibly um, nimble. And we move up to his legs. So I've got to say, first off, incredible, uh, incredible amount of, like, scaliness to him. I mean, he feels rough to, like, handle. It's it's very cool. Uh, obviously, so his knees, again, a bit... They've got a little bit of motion. Um, I think they're technically double jointed, but you know it is Godzilla. He's not going to be doing any kung fu kicks anytime soon, I don't think. So we move up to his waist. Now his hips—they've uh, got a decent range of kind of motion, so you can have them like quite forward like that, or you know further back. Uh, you don't want it too extreme, obviously, because he's a bulky figure. So you don't really want to be messing about too much of the centre of balance, because as you can see, he's fucking massive. 
so we'll we'll focus on the like tail and stuff last. So we've got his chest and stuff. Now, whilst they are detailed, you know, with all the scales and stuff, technically speaking, because it's so dark, it is hard to see defined stuff as well. Uh, so his arms, you know, his arms have got a decent range as well. I mean, he's got the range of a T-Rex, basically, hasn't he? So it's it's to be expected, but, you know, they, they go down and up. Uh, they can straighten out as well, which is pretty cool. And obviously his hands have a full range of, like, rotation. So these are his, like, regular hands. They're more open, I guess, uh, just for comparison. That's his, like, closed hand, so... You know, it, it, it's a bit more, it's a bit more focused on the um, talons, I guess, or the nails. Whereas these are more kind of just open and uh, more neutral, I guess, is what you'd say. Uh, but yeah, so I'll try, as I said, popping on the other hands uh, during, the, during the picture kind of uh, montage that I'm going to be doing soon. Let's do a why pause. Uh, so let's move up onto his face. Now, I've got to say, I'm a big fan of the paint. Um, this might not be for everyone, to be honest. Um, it does seem this is one of the first Godzilla monster arts, at least, where it's been like the shiny, kind of glowy blue. Now, this is what attracted me to him. I'm not going to lie. Um, I just, I really loved King of the Monsters, uh, as in Godzilla King of the Monsters from 2019 or 18, I think it was. Personally, it's my favourite of the MonsterVerse Godzilla films. And, um, you know, he had that look, didn't he? He's, like, powering up and everything. And, uh, yeah, I just I really like him. So that's a look at his, the face and stuff. It is a little bit more chrome than I was expecting, I'm not going to lie. Um, although, to say that, um, to the naked eye, it doesn't look quite as shiny. It's weirdly coming up more shiny on the camera, if that makes sense. Uh, I mean, not not a ton more, but it's definitely hitting light that maybe you wouldn't naturally see. Anyway, it's time to go down his spines. Now, this is kind of the selling point, to be honest, of the figure. I think, they, I, from what I can tell, there are a few different SH Monster Arts of Monsterverse Godzilla. And they are various, so I think there's a few with sort of like grey, kind of maybe slightly silver scales... Um, there's also the Earth's Core one from King of the Monsters, which I'm kind of disappointed I missed out on getting, because I do love the, like, red kind of, you know, magma kind of thing as well. But I'm really happy with this, honestly. I, I think the colour palette really works. Uh, but, you know, to each their own. I don't know what the general consensus is. Now, his tail, of course, is segmented as well. So, just take a last quick look. Goes all the way to the tip there. Uh, so, as you can see, his tail can just swivel back and forth. Now, obviously, you're not going to want to swivel it too crazy. Um, but, you know, you can get some decent bends. Now, the tail does seem to be suited to this side for some reason. Although it might just be that the joints are a little bit, uh, a little bit stiff or, or whatever. I mean... You know, we, as with any action figure, you don't want to push it too hard, but it can probably deal with a decent amount of, you know, posing and stuff. So, I do really like this. Uh, the, the kind of, if I was to nitpick, so I've only, I've only messed about with him very briefly, just to get a quick thumbnail shot. The tail, it's not quite as posable as I expected, but then... I think I expected some, like, crazy kind of tail stuff, whereas, really, Godzilla, he wouldn't have a reason to, like, curve it up or anything, really. So, I think, uh, you know, as it is, it's it's true to form, really. Uh, so, talking about uh, picturing him and getting him into different poses, it is no time for my patented montage, because no one else has ever done that. Uh, so where I'm just going to take some photos of him in different poses and stuff with some backing music uh, and just see what kind of things I can get going with him. Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned for that after this very, very cool jump cut.
Okay, I am back. Uh, and honestly, I had a lot of fun with that. Um, and I think overall, my kind of views on this uh, on this figure have kind of brightened a little bit because I had that time to kind of mess about with him and see different poses. And to be honest, he's a little bit of a sort of, I don't want to say complex figure, because technically he's not really. But there's a lot of there's a lot of things you have to consider to make the poses work. So I mean something I worked out is that he does have an ab crunch, which I haven't really mentioned. He can go I mean again, as with all of it, it's not an incredible range of motion, but he can go back and forth. And you need to keep all of that in mind for the kind of poses. So his legs, for example, I was a little bit disappointed that well, I mean, he's kind of stuck with this massive tail here, but it depends. You can kind of get more of it nearer the ground if you want him standing up more, or you can like pull it up more if you want him sort of leaning over more. And I did manage, one of my last shots, if you noticed, did manage to get him in a kind of like, I'm not going to do it again because it took a while, for a kind of pause where all of his tail is off the ground. Now, admittedly, in the movies, he doesn't do that very much, so it's not really a canon kind of thing, but I liked being able to do that as well. And, yeah, honestly, this is a really fun figure. Um, it is, I mean, ultimately, you know, with the body shape and everything, it is going to be somewhat limited. You're not going to get crazy balance pictures or, like, high kicks or, you know, super dynamic action poses with him. But, I mean, Godzilla's Godzilla. You want him because he's a massive lizard kaiju. You know, you don't want him because he's going to be all nimble and stuff. And yeah, honestly, I, I just really like this. The paint job, as I said, this might divide some people. If you don't want kind of shiny blue stuff, this isn't going to be the one for you. There's plenty of other Godzilla figures. Maybe go with those or something. And, you know... Admittedly, I am sticking with the Western version of Godzilla as well. I appreciate there are some really nice uh, regular Godzilla figures as well of the older series from Japan and stuff. I might give those a try as well because I am kind of getting into my kaiju period now. As you can see here, I actually uh, bought a bundle of Ultraman figures uh, from eBay. I was going to do a video on those, but I don't know enough about Ultraman, but I had to jump on the opportunity because I love the design. But I mean, so hopefully I'll be doing more kaiju stuff in the future. I do hope to expand this. As I said as well, I might try and get my hands on Kong just because I really enjoyed Godzilla vs Kong. I, you know, I don't know if it was everyone's cup of tea. But you know, I, I thought it was fun because that's ultimately what kaiju is all about. It's just fun seeing, you know, people in suits or well, CGI these days really, but like destroying cities and stuff like that. It's just so much fun. Um, but let me know if you guys in the comments uh, watching this have also got this or any other SH monster art I should look out for. Now there is a King Ghidorah from um, King of the Monsters. Unfortunately, I didn't get it at a good time and now it's aftermarket price and it's very expensive. So I'm just kind of hoping against hope they announce a scale, you know, that's compatible sort of with this for King Ghidorah because I do love his design as well. You know, but this could be the start of a beautiful monster romance. But yeah, overall, if I was to give this a score, I'd give this a solid, like, I'd say an 8 out of 10. I think he is still a little bit limited, and unfortunately, because he's so dark, it's a little bit difficult to see all the details. But again, it is Godzilla. You know, it's, it's how it is, really. So that about wraps up my review. I will leave, as always, a playlist of other action figure reviews I've done over here, along with leaving a YouTube decide and a random one for you guys. And I'll leave you to it. So um, let me know who your favourite kaiju is in the comments below. I'll, I'll, I always reply. Uh, I don't get many comments, so any, any amount of tension is always appreciated. Anyway, uh, until next time, goodbye.